to do with your ripe plantains. My sister, don't show them away. Oh, I always tell you that don't waste food at all. Be biamu and fast, so you get it. Okay, so it's always been your girl Sassy, and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make delicious pancakes with this plantain. Yes, this is ripe plantain. So let's get started. What we will do is I'll peel off the skin of it. I have water in my bowl, so I'm going to wash them very fast and continue with the rest of the process. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, with the help of the knife, I'm going to um, chop them so that I can easily mash them with my fork. Okay, so this is my fork. I'm going to mash them very fast. choose to blend it if you think that will be the easiest way to get it matched but I think doing this we want to fill the food in it so it won't be all that smooth so you don't have to even if you blend it it shouldn't be well blended you have to make sure that there's some of the food in it for you to chew as you take the pick Then the next thing I'm going to do is to add my wet ingredients. So I'm going to add milk, and vanilla extracts. It's optional, so you can choose to add any flavor that you want. I'm using vanilla. to mix everything together. So I'm going to set this aside and mix the dry ingredients. Okay, so for the dry ingredients I have my flour. I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar. The right plantain is a bit sugary, so you don't have to add too much sugar. And a pinch of salt. And a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Nutmeg. This is a um, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And milk powder. So I'm going to mix everything together. So I'm going to leave the measurements in the description box for you to get the accurate measurements and the perfect taste for your pancake. So now that we have all our ingredients halfway done, I'm going to add two medium eggs. Add my 
dry ingredients that's the flour and the other ingredients into it i'm going to add it bit by bit So you get the right consistency that you want. It shouldn't be too light and it shouldn't be too thick. I think this is the perfect consistency that I'm looking for. So after getting the paste for our pancake, you can choose to leave it in the fridge for one hour or fry it right away. So with my, I'm going to fry it right away. But if you are done with frying and you still have more of the paste in your bowl, you can keep it in the fridge for approximately three days. It's because of the milk and the egg. Otherwise, it will go bad after four days. So guys, you are going to fry it. Hey, you wait. Let me put it aside and continue. Eh? <laughs> yes, I'm putting it aside and get out of it. So my frying pan is already on fire. I'm going to add oil and start with the frying. Just shake it a little bit. Yes. So you can take it as breakfast, brunch, or if you are late, you come back home late, very late from work, and you want something simple to eat, you can just do this and put it in your fridge, and be frying it in kakan kaka. See, bit by bit, that's what I'm trying to say. It's a very simple recipe, and trust me, you will love it. So the first batch is ready. Yummy, right? <laughs> yeah. So you can 
try this recipe out To add chocolate, it's optional, so you can choose to add it or leave it. Okay, so, thank you so much for staying with me on this episode, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, mm -hmm. and leave a comment. So, till we meet again, I'll say have a beautiful day and bye bye. Ooh. Mm -hmm.